And so we can't help but wonder if this is the week the drought ends as we welcome you back inside the studio. There are, of course, five other amazing players still left in this tournament. But, Jim, what are the chances that you give Taylor Fritz of ending this drought? One in six? Was that, was that what you said? I didn't or? mean it okay. that way. <laughs> Look, More specifically. I, I like his chances against Musetti in his next match. That, uh, importantly, you got to put one step, uh, one foot in front of the other. I think he can get by Musetti. And then it's likely going to be Djokovic, who is finding his footing and finding his form. I, I think Djokovic is a big Big favorite against Demonor. We know the other side of the draw, you're going to get a Grand Slam champion in either Medvedev or Alcarest. So the, an the short answer is he's up against it. It's not going to be easy. But is he capable of it? Does he trust his game? Does he know what he wants to do? All of those things, yes. Ke questions will be answered here. If he gets to the final, questions will be answered because he's never been there, never been to a semi. How do you handle the red light, the white hot spotlight of that moment? I feel like Taylor Fritz will handle it well. I, I feel like Taylor Fritz is so uh, kind of comfortable with what he's trying to do and so locked in. I don't feel like the moment would be too big for him, but none of us know, including him, until he gets out there. So I, I really hope we get a chance to see it. No offense to the other players, but... You know, we, we and we love Andy Roddick, but we'd like to have a, a new name on that <laughs> yeah. leaderboard. So would he. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you think that it, it would be easier for him on this surface than Hold on, on a hard He's supposed court? to answer. He's, he's the guy who asked the questions. What no. do you do? You answer your Go own question. Answer her what question. It was, it was a good question. Thank answer you. the question. No, I'm curious. Uh, you do think I think it's easier on grass or for, hard? For Taylor. Um, I think probably on grass. Yeah. You? Because he gets more free points with the serve? Or I, why? I think, I think it's easier for players to extend the points. And we know that defense is not his strength. The, the shorter the points, the more it's about target practice, the better it is for Taylor Fritz, in my opinion. Does it mean he, he can't win on a hard court? Absolutely not. He's been yeah. uh, the Indian Wells champion. We know he can play well on hard courts. Yeah. So, uh, but I like grass for him. Yeah. And when he played Novak at the U.S. Open in the quarterfinal, he was redlining it and it wasn't happening for him. And it felt like he was pulling the trigger early in some of those rallies. Obviously, the longer the rally goes, you know it favors Novak. So was wondering on a grass court if he would redline it. You've got to be on, though, when you play these players. But everybody's known that for, there was a whole generation that didn't get to win Grand Slam titles because of Federer, because of Nadal. It because of Djokovic. So now you still have Djokovic left, but Alcaraz has elevated himself, sinners out, but you still have a quality opponent at Medvedev. Taylor's going to have to beat a couple of these guys if he's going to win. Any American is going to have to go through a couple of, of these players. Does Do the stars align for them on yeah. those days? And, and can I just take it back full circle? There, we cannot disrespect Musetti, who's no. a finalist at Queens, is a tr yeah. tremendous talent. Mm -hmm. You cannot look past Musetti. You really do have to go step by step here. But we're, well, we're talking macro, of course. Let's show you the head to head between Taylor and Musetti at Tennis Express head to head. Three previous meetings, two wins for Fritz, including a meeting here at Wimbledon two years ago in the first round. That was straight sets for Taylor. What do we think of the X's and O's of this matchup as we look at uh, Taylor has a pretty good record against one-handed backhands. Yeah, he, he does indeed, and, and I think this surface definitely is better for him than Musetti traditionally, although Lorenzo has certainly picked up the pace this year, but Clay had been his, uh, his primary happy hunting ground, Musetti, until this season. But he's got a really nice slice backhand. He's got nice variety on his serve, does the Italian. Uh, this guy is just going to try and bulldoze him, though, with the serve and the forehand and the backhand down the line, which can be very effective for Taylor as well. He, he's usually a pretty California cool kind of <laughs> guy, but we've seen a little fire from Taylor Fritz this week. He had the have a nice flight moment with the Artur Rinderkinek. He had some emotions in this Zverev match. Yeah. We like seeing that from Taylor? I, I think he's always had a little bit of fire, but I, I think he's got to be provoked for that to come out. A little bit of controversy after the Zverev match and some stuff that his girlfriend posted that then she took down. and it, You'd never like to see that drama. I hate to see that unfold around a player. The Rinder Kinesh stuff, that was funny, I thought. It was. He was. There were some words back in press. I, I actually like that side from Taylor. I don't like that he has to deal with what his girlfriend is, Do, is doing and posting. You know That's who silly. does like that? Fleet Street, the yeah. London press. Yeah, yeah. I mean, talk oh. about headlines for days if they get stuff like that. And ultimately, while I think it could be distracting for him, I hate to say this, but this is the kind of stuff that actually opens the door and lets more fans, and if they get interested in, in sort of the social aspects of tennis, so you can have, we all have our opinions on whether that's good or bad for, for Taylor. 
ultimately that kind of controversy brings more people under the tent, and hopefully we can keep some of them when they see some good tennis. If you'd like to discuss tennis and social media more with Jim, you can tweet him at... I no, don't no, no, I you don't have an account. He doesn't, com. Ha doesn't yeah. have an account. Never mind. Dot com? My mistake. You have dot com on social it's media? an at symbol, Jim. We'll <laughs> oh, teach okay. you about it later. Yeah.